Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Maximum Questions and for Wizard Gold. And what I want to do today is that I want to bring in some files from a NEX6 camera which records in AVCHD. Here we've got three different ways of bringing it into Final Cut Pro. First of all, we can just go Command and I and bring it directly into the Final Cut Pro. And in this case, I'm going to just choose one of these two clips that are on here. I'm going to go for clip number two. It's uh, 43 seconds long. And according to this, it's uh, 143.6 megabytes. And I'm going to tell it to import selected. I'm going to add it to an existing event, import from AVCHD. I'm going to copy the files into the project. And I'm going to tell it to create optimized media. It says uh, that it's going to come in there as Apple ProRes 422, but we'll have a look at that once it's in. Let's click on import. So here we go, there's the file we've got imported in. As you can see, 43 seconds long, and we've got some details there. Now here it says the codec used is H.264. It doesn't say anything out there about it being ProRes, but we'll see. I'm just going to call that import so we know that one came in through the direct import. So that's your first way of getting in your video files to your editing software from AVCHD. Let's have a look at another way. I've got some software on here called Free AVCHD to Mov. And let's get the finder up there. Here's my finder look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this file and drop it into there. And once again, I'm going to choose the same file as we chose before. So let's go for the one that is 143 megabytes. It's this one here. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to deselect the other one. And I want to bring it in there as the proper ProRes format. So let's click on settings and you can see we've got ProRes there as the codec. You can choose other codecs in there if you want. There's quite a lot to choose from. And the bit rate is 25,000. It's quite high. So let's uh, do a convert on that there and see what we get. It takes a bit of a while for it to do this. OK, so now we can see that that one has actually finished. Look, and we go into this here. We can see that the file is in here. And it's a bloody large file. And look at it, it's 1.93 gigabytes. It's grown in size, but there's a lot more information in there. So and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the name of that there so that we're going to know that it's coming from Avery CHD to MOV. And then what I'll do with this here is I'll just uh, drag this and drop it into Final Cut Pro, drop it in there. And as you can see, there we have the two files. Both of them 43 seconds long. They're exactly the same file, although this one is slightly long. Got an extra frame on there somehow or other. Don't manage that, but still. If you look at this here as well, it's a little bit different in as much as here it says that it's .264, which is the first one we brought in there. And here it says that it's Apple ProRes 422. And both of those are linear PCM in terms of audio, so it's uncompressed audio. On the original file, the sample rate was 48 kilohertz, and on this one here, it's brought it down to 44.1. Don't think it's going to make any difference in terms of working with it, but uh, it's something that you might want to note. So we've got two files in there now. That's two ways of getting it in there so far. Let's have a look at another way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up QuickTime. It's going to go back in there and find the AVCHD one again. So let's go there, choose that, and we'll click on Open. And again, we're going to go for this one, which is the it says 43 seconds, 0.68 on there. So clip number one, click on open. That opened up nice and quickly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on file and we're going to do export and we'll export that to 1080p from QT. It's coming in from QuickTime and we're going to put it into the converted videos and click on save. And it's exporting it out from QuickTime. OK, so there you go. The job's done. Let's move this out of the way. And let's get the finder back up here again. So here's the finder. And this one here is coming in from QT. This one here is the one we just did from QT. And it's coming there at 79.1 megabytes, which is a whole lot different from this one here, which is 1.93. And then if we look at the other one, let's see this one here, which is the direct import, which is this one. Go to Revealing Finder. And in the Revealing Finder, it was 143 megabytes. So we've got three different sized files there. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get this here and bring this in here from, from QT and drag it and drop it into the same project in there. This is the one that we just did from QT. Let's go across to here. And as you can see, the audio's come in there as ACC, which means it's been compressed a bit. It's come in there as H.264. And the sample rate for the audio is the same. And the frame size is all the same. So three different files there and which of those is going to be the best to use, I wonder. So there you go, that's three different ways of getting your videos into your Final Cut Pro, whatever editing software you're using. And 
you'll have to decide which one is the best for you. This is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for Matchroom Questions. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon.